Hey, Hi, little wagon. We love you. Hi, kitty cat. Hi, Hi, Miss. Hey, Kay. Hey, Kay. Miss Moss, what do you miss most about the 90s? And what do you love most about the 20s? Hi, Mark. I think what I miss most is having the freedom to be without camera phones, <laughs> to not be watched. And I think the best thing about the 20s is my relationship with Lila and, and having a teenage daughter. Hi, Little Wagon. Yeah. Naomi and I have been calling you Little Wagon for a very long time. And I can't remember how that started. My question is, do you remember why we call you Little Wagon and where we were when we started doing it? I do remember. We were in Ireland and we got a little bit tipsy at a wedding. And I think in Irish, wagon is drunk. So basically, we were all wagons because during that time we were all doing shows, drinking a lot of champagne and calling each other wagon. Hi Kay, my question for you is, of all the amazing things and amazing jobs that you've done in your career and lifetime, what was the one point that you thought life doesn't get better than this? Oh, hi, Tony. Um, I think when the Queen invited me to Buckingham Palace, um, I thought, wow, I've made it. It's David Williams here. I remember me, we dated briefly in the 1990s. Hi, David. My question to you is, Apart from me, who have you been most starstruck meeting? I think George Michael. I went to his house and met the whole of Wham. Pepsi and Shirley and Andrew were there. Yeah, that was, I was pretty starstruck. Oh, actually, what am I talking about? I met Frank Sinatra and then I fainted. That was the most starstruck I've ever been, for sure. Bob Dylan, Frank Sinatra, and then I fainted, yeah. Darling Kate, you're an inspiration to me and an inspiration to the world. For me, I have to say, it's been an absolute treat to watch you on set. It's fascinating how you take the frequency of those characters, the kind of emotional dimensions of those characters, and then make it your own in a kind of really cool Kate way. But I would love to know who are some of your favourite references or characters you've ever kind of had to channel or play? Darling. Um, I think my favourite characters are always like the rock and roll characters, Anita, you know, anything to do with the Stones in the 70s. It's like playing dress up really and, you know, pretending you're someone else. Anyone glamorous and fabulous. <laughs> Hi Kate. Oh, hi Twiggy. These two London girls didn't do too badly, did they? I was just wondering, having reached the highest of the heights in your modelling career, whether you've got a secret ambition to do something else? Yeah, I've got a secret ambition to go travelling again, but without having to work. You're known throughout the world for your incredible sense of style. And is there one particular outfit that you wore that holds a real sentimental place in your heart? It's like a canary yellow chiffon dress that I wore to a party. I got ready for the party with Mario Testino and Lila was a baby and Jefferson was there and it was a really good night. Hey Kate, hey Vogue. Okay, so my question for you is, I know you've done a lot of Met Galas, but what was your favorite moment the hmm. night you, me and Mark Jacobs all went together? I think my favourite moment of our Met Gala was um, the ride home and the after party. That was the best bit. Hi Kay, I miss you. Oh, Irie. I have a question for you. What was our earliest memory together? I was there when you were born. That's our my earliest memory. You don't remember it, but I do very well. And you were gorgeous. Hi Kitty Cat, if you had to pick one image that summed up your career, one most iconic image, what would it be? And it better be one of ours. <laughs> um, I think the British Vogue was um, the first cover that I did. I thought I could give it up then. Hi Kate, this is Elton. Hi Elton. My question to you is, what really pisses you off? Litterbugs. I hate litterbugs. Hi, Mum. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, Lila Bell. My question for you is, 
After a hectic day at work, what do you do or what do you use to unwind or relax when you come home? I like having a hot bath and getting into bed for a cuddle with you if you're available. We know you love music. If you could be in any band, which one would it be? Oh, that's so easy. I would be in the Rolling Stones. I'd be lead singer. I'd be Mick Jagger. Which episode of Ab Fab is your favourite? Hi, Kim. Um, I love the episode when they go to France and they stay in the wrong house and they fall in love with ping pong. The feeling that I had when I saw Lila opening and closing the show at Mew Mew last season and for me, somehow it was almost like emotional. And so I wonder if for you was the same. I find it very beautiful and I wanted to ask you if it was the same also for you. Oh, Stefano. Um, yeah, it was so emotional seeing Lila on the runway. Well, it wasn't emotional, I was really nervous for her. I was sitting around the kitchen table and Katie England was there and Rosemary and like some girlfriends and we were like waiting for the show to start on the link and, and when she came out we were like, oh, she's doing it, she's doing it. I was, yeah, I was really proud. Darling Kate, I have a question for you. Oh, Daffers. How did you meet David Bowie and how did he change your life? He certainly changed mine. I love you. Love you too. Um, Q magazine asked me to interview him. I was with him for like five hours and we did a shoot the day before with um, Ellen Von Unworth and he was amazing and just so fun. And then after that, we just kind of kept in contact and he would drop me messages like, how are you doing? Are you behaving yourself? No. And then he would send me birthday messages and it was always like the most amazing thing to know that he was thinking of me. And um, now I just feel like he's like a guardian angel, really. Hi, Kate. Hi, Sylvia. Uh, I suppose you must have an incredible fashion archive. What would be your favorite and most meaningful piece to pass on to your daughter? Lila has already started dipping into my closet and I've saved most things for her. So she has recently stolen my Azadine Elias skirt and it's so cute. <laughs> Hi Kate, this is Stella. My question is how do you manage to balance the physical and the spiritual? I'm trying to learn how to balance. Um, I meditate and I do yoga and I work out. This is my question to the legendary Kate. We all know how involved you are in the creative process, the energy that goes into bringing the image to life. I think out of all the girls, you're the one that knows the most, the <laughs> most about proportions. In fact, you've taught me a few things about the lengths, I remember. And I can't think of a moment or any collection where I don't ask myself, would Kate wear this or how would Kate wear this? You see, Kate, with very little direction, you assume a character, <laughs> yet you still remain yourself. How do you do that? Oh, John. Um, well, you are the best storyteller when it comes to characters at your shows. I will always remember, um, you know, asking you in the lineup, who am I? And you telling the most incredible, in depth, story about who I was going to be when I walked out there and I think that's probably taught me a lot I mean I was young when I did your shows 15 and I had probably carried that through my career like on shoots I would think who am I who am I who is this girl that's what I do still dear Kate I'm very moved by David Attenborough's latest plea on Instagram asking us to change for a sustainable future. How are you changing your life to make it more sustainable? Well, I do all the basic things, but also I've just bought some land and I think I'm going to build a forest. Hi, Kate. I hope you're well. Hi, Sam. I was just wondering if over lockdown, how much you enjoyed gardening and being in your lovely garden? And if so, do you intend to continue that in the future? 
Yes, well, I didn't do much gardening myself, but I got very involved with the gardeners and I really enjoyed watching the garden coming to life. I've never actually seen the whole of spring come alive and yeah, I loved it, it was amazing. Three months in winter, if you have to choose between flats and hills, what would you favour? Ah, oh, Christian, I would favour a boot with a heel. Hey Kate, it's Dua. I just wanted to ask you, which is the best city in the world to party in? Hi Dua, London. London is always the best. Hello Kate. Hi Matt. I would like to know what your party trick is. My party trick isn't really mine, but I always get my brother involved and get him to do things for me, like his rave dancing. Hi Kay, my one question is, if you could rewind back to one point in your life and relive it, when would that be and why? I think there was a lot of times in the 90s where I was just a young, free, single, <laughs> no responsibilities. Well, apart from getting to work, other than that, the world was my oyster. One of my favorite things about you is you're not afraid to get on the dance floor. I've had many amazing moments dancing the night away with you. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite song to dance to and who is your favorite person you've ended up on the dance floor with? Oh, my favorite dance partner um, is Mary J. Blige to anything. I'll dance to anything with Mary J. Blige. Kate and I are, have a lot of things in common. The day I met Kate, I think it was in an exhibition, and you looked at me, Kate, and you said, I want to be you when I grow up. So my question mm -hmm. to you is, now that you are grown up, how does it feel? Oh God, I don't feel grown up. And I still want to be like you. Hi, Kate. We are in the back of our house, in the stable. We just want to say we love you, we wish you hello, and you need to help me, Kate. Just say, yes, I support. We need to change the economy to a different one, otherwise we die. And you, the prestige of your beauty is all I need. <sighs> yes, I support you, Vivian. Bye.